to another edition of an Arc of the Day. Today I was doing a little more organizing in here, trying to figure out what I need to move and what I need to get out. Figuring out these plants down here that I need to throw out eventually. One of them being my Dendrobium canico, which I enjoyed its blooms a couple of years ago, a couple of, uh, well, it was the uh, summer before last. And that caused me to look over here at my new Kaneko, which I had got earlier this summer from Nats. And I noticed that I had watered it yesterday and that it was sitting in some water. And as I bent down to empty the water out, I noticed that then I noticed that and that 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 so this plant is in bud. There's more down there. When my plant that I had before was blooming for me before it died, it bloomed for me in the middle of the summer, like around July. And it was a long bloom season. It was a succession of blooms. This plant is a natural hybrid. Um, can't remember which one it is. I believe one of them might be Goldsmithianum. Goldsmithianum. I'll try to put it down along with some a picture of what the blooms will look like. But this is a complete surprise to be seeing blooms, uh, especially going into fall. Maybe it could have been the cooler weather, but I don't remember getting any buds off of uh, my last uh, hibiki not Habiki, Kaneko, Kamiko, before it died. Uh, I didn't really get any blooms, only in, the, only in the summer and then it shut down. This bloom, this plant typically uh, goes through the cycle where it puts up its new growths. These are the newest growths. And then those mature over a season, maybe two seasons, and then they bloom off of the deciduous canes as evidenced by these blooms that are on the canes with no leaves. Um, I'm assuming that this plant comes from, in, uh, not India, Asia somewhere. Uh, the problem that I have had with my deciduous plants in the past are that some like a strict rest where they don't like any water or fertilizer. And then there are others that even though they like a rest, it's not quite so literal. The rest meaning uh, basically that you're watering them more infrequently and letting them dry out more in between. That's what a rest means in what I've grown to understand it to mean over the years. Um, what happened with these plants was that I was more or less in the wintertime just letting them, not these, but this old Kaneko that is totally desiccated, I would let it sit in a sunny spot, in a cooler spot in my greenhouse and just let it be and not water it. I was taking the rest thing too literal. Um, so anyway, I will treat this plant differently and hopefully I will maintain it and keep it in a better health than my other one was so that it will continue to reward me with these beautiful blooms that it produces does not have a fragrance, but it doesn't matter because the blooms are beautiful. Um, so yeah, if you've enjoyed my video for today, please subscribe and press the like button. Enjoy your orchids. Bye.